a demonstration of the power of prayer. A little girl using the Bible to help her brother through uncertain times. He has anxiety over everything going on. Their proud mother joins us next. Right here on the channel you trust for your morning news. Here now once again, Jillian. If you're worried about what's happening in the world right now, imagine seeing it through a child's eyes. This video captures the panic of a young boy who was scared about the coronavirus until his sister takes his hand to comfort him through prayer. It's not just a moving moment. It could be a lesson for everyone right now. Joining me live is the mother of these two children, Shaletta Brundage. I should say these two beautiful children. Thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate it. I mean, that moment is certainly something that we can all take something away from. What did you think about it when you saw it? I was amazed. I felt blessed um, that my daughter was able to uh, pick up on her brother's fears and just jump right in with um, not only a Bible verse, but the right Bible verse to tell him that he needed to have power, have love and and keep his mind right. And at that moment, she calmed the fears of our entire family mm -hmm. because we were panicked that particular day. I was down to four rolls of toilet paper and could find none. So <laughs> my stress level was high. Uh, my husband works in healthcare. His stress level was high. Uh, they were talking about closing the school. So my older son was wondering about some sports that he's playing and if he was going to get to see his friends. And so our house was just in a panic. We have four children. Uh, three of them have autism. And uh, part of having autism for some children is having high anxiety. Mm -hmm. And my son has that. And I was so busy dealing with the coronavirus that I I didn't pick up on it, uh, but I'm so glad that my daughter's been paying attention to Sunday school. She learned that scripture and she walked right over to comfort and mother uh, her brother in his time of need. And Amazing. it just, girl, it tore me down. Yeah, it's, it's, it's beautiful to watch this and their embrace at the end. I have to ask you, I know this day in particular, you're talking about all the stresses that you and your husband were feeling and children understand a lot more than we realize sometimes. And you also said that you guys watch the news a lot right now now. So what, do you, what is it about the coronavirus that was making him so anxious? Well, we didn't even realize that we were watching too much news. I mean, we were watching it in the morning. We were watching noontime news. We were watching it in the evenings uh, before we went to bed, probably six to seven hours of news per day. And they're talking about deaths. They're talking about illness. They're talking about the schools closing. And you think you've got these special needs kids and they don't understand. But he was picking up on everything mm -hmm. and at that moment they had just recorded some of the first deaths and he heard about people dying and it just terrified him mm -hmm. and at that moment I told my husband no more news for them uh, you know when we want to see something we'll go online and stream it or we'll watch it after they go to bed because it's just too much for a child with special needs or you can you know explain it to them in a way that you know is going to be best for your children to understand I know that you are a children's book author um, you have a book Cameron goes to school so you know you do understand how to teach kids you know a lot of kids are home right now a lot of parents are struggling to figure out how am I going to do this for the next few weeks however long this is going to be what's your message to parents out there how to get through this and how to keep that faith that seems is in your household right now you we we have a we have a saying in our household faith over fear um, and so we have to really rely on our faith. We have to talk to our children in a way that they understand. And as parents, we know our children. We know how much they can take. Uh, we can give them the message about being safe because we got to tell them why they have to wash their hands so much and what to and not to touch and why this particular time they can't go to the store or if school is out, why we can't go to the park or indoor playground. Why it's so important that we stay at home and keep ourselves safe. We have to send that message, but we don't have to uh, give them all the gloom and doom and, and we can talk to them about their faith and having faith and not being so fearful even at a time like this. Absolutely. Shaletta, thank you so much for joining us. I think everybody needed to see that video and hear that message this morning. Have a good day. Thank you so much for having me. Of course. And we'll be right back.